So we did ours on chapter five, which is the legislative branch. Oh, you can't do it. And this is a picture of the Capitol. Oh. Two House Congress. Congress is a lawmaking body. It's composed of two houses, the Senate, the Senate and the House of Representatives. That is bicameral, and bicameral means two houses. The House of Representatives. This is a picture of where they meet at the House of Representatives. How membership is divided. After each year, the seats are distributed based on, um, well, after each census, sorry, the seats are distributed based on the number of um, people who live in each state. There's a total of 435 members in the House of Representatives, and it's based on state population, and it's proportional to the state population. So each year, it's the 435 members are distributed based on how many people, how many black people live in each state. <coughs> Congressional districts. District boundaries are drawn so each district is equally populated. Gerrymandering is when drawing district lines to favor a political party. And this is a picture, and it just kind of represents the different districts in Georgia. Number 11. And all those are equal population. Mm -hmm. Electing representatives. Elect, uh, representatives are elected every two years, and if a representative dies or resigns, the state must call for like a special election to elect a new representative. The Senate. Each state has two representatives. The Senate has 100 members, and their terms are six-year terms. One-third of the Senate's members go up for election every two years. There are no term limits, limits in the Senate. And this is just like a picture of like the seal for the Senate. It's <laughs> so this is qualification for members. For the House, uh, you must be at least 25 years old, a U.S. citizen for at least seven years, and a legal resident of the state you represent. The Senate, you have to at least be 30 years old, a U.S. citizen, a citizen for at least nine years, and a legal resident of the state you may represent. For salary and benefits, the yearly salary for a representative is $154,700, and the franking privilege is where you can mail letters and packages for free, and immunity is legal protection. The terms in sessions? <laughs> Two regular sessions in each term. Sessions last as long as Congress wishes. The President can ask Congress to meet in special sessions. Organization. They have things called caucuses, which are private meetings among members of the same political party. And then you also have a majority leader and a minority minority leader in the House and the Senate. And those are like the whichever political party has the most leaders in the House and the Senate, they elect a, they elect a party leader. Leaders in the House and Senate. Speaker of the House, presiding over presiding officer, the floor leader guides party's proposed laws. The party whip persuades members to vote for parties for party sponsored legislators. Legislation. Vice President leads the Senate. And this is the Speaker of the House. And this is Joe Biden, the uh, Vice President, who leads the Senate. types of committees. You have standing committees, subcommittees, select committees, joint committees, and conference committees. Committee membership. Each member can serve on only two major standing committees. Divided in proportion to numbers of members each party has in each house.
power is granted to Congress. They um, are in charge of financing the government, regulating and encouraging American trade and industry, defending the country, enforcing laws, and providing for growth. The power to impeach. Can, they can remove officials from office if found guilty, guilty of serious crimes such as treason. Impeachment means drawing up and passing the list of charges in the House. And both houses of Congress also have their own special powers. Okay. <laughs> okay, there are some limits on power. Um, and these are all the limits. Passing ex post facto laws, passing bills of attainer, suspending the writ of habeas corpus, <laughs> taxing exports, passing laws that violate the Bill of Rights, favoring trade of a state, um, granting titles of nobility, and withdrawing money without a law. The idea for a bill begins. From U.S. citizens, from organized groups, from committees of Congress, from members of Congress and from the President. How a bill becomes a law. First, the bill is introduced in the House. Then the bill is sent to a committee. Then the House considers the bill. The House and the Senate agree on the final bill, and the President approves.